stuff. Uh, congratulations uh, uh, on on the win here. First off, uh, coach, another is another close one here, like uh, Wednesday night. Uh, tell me what kept y'all uh, kept y'all in there. Well, we we really fought on defense, and then in, in the last five minutes, I thought we we hit some good shots, and we got some people to free throw line to hit some shots. But you know, really, our rebounding when you look at 38-55. Um, that, that, that kept us in it, and um, even when we were behind, we were really, really bad on the boards. Um, obviously, our biggest concern was it's just a lot of turnovers, I and mean, we just don't make that many turnovers. So, uh, I'm not sure where that came from tonight, but um, you know, we to be in this game, uh, missing free throws, and uh, uh, having those kind of turnovers. I, I mean, I'm really happy to come out with a win. And uh, talk about your reserve play today. You know, I noticed uh, you had a couple that were making contribute some very large contributions. Uh, I think Katie came off the bench. Courtney came off the bench. Talk about Chitty. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, the, the one thing is, is, is our, our bench probably has as many minutes as our starters. So I, I think that when you when you look at points off the bench, that's probably a little deceiving for us because we, we've got a lot of quality coming off of there. But um, you know, I do think with the foul trouble in the first half, we were getting people to come in and really contribute, uh, which helped a lot. You know, we felt like going in the locker room, we were down one, but we, we I think we had 17 turnovers at half, and um, we were hoping to improve on that. But, um, you know, that, we were still in the game. So we felt like if we had um, been able to just fix that second half, we could come out and really do some good things. But well, we played really hard. I, I thought our effort was great tonight. Um, you know, we made some plays to get into overtime, and I felt like in overtime we might have had the advantage just because I think we, you know, we, we felt like we'd fought so much to put it there that we felt like we could get it done. All righty. Just about that last play, too. I mean, is that the way you, you drew it up, or? Uh, you know, I don't think so. I mean, we, we actually were setting it up for Danielle, definitely. But um, you know, it was off of a fade. Um, we really wanted uh, Jamie to kind of create. We wanted wanted a fade on that with uh, with Dale off that fade shot. Now, they tell me the fade wasn't there, but she still got it anyway. But um, you know, the, the one thing I, I told Danielle coming out of the locker room, one thing I know is is Danielle can hit a shot in the game to win it, and. You know, it was nice to get that look, and it was a really clean look, and Danielle just shot it naturally. And uh, I give a lot of credit to our team of, of being able to execute and, and just find a way. And uh, Danielle, I guess the uh, question of the hour here, tell me what was going through your head during that whole play from the, from the start of it after the last free throw to when you got the ball and it went in. Um, I mean, I was just ready, you know, for whatever was out. I mean, whatever was drawn up, I just was going off it. And I saw Jamie driving, and Jamie's so great at passing. So I knew if she saw me open, she would she would get it to me. And I mean, just with luck, it went in. So. <laughs> And uh, I guess uh, Leslie, uh, today I, I guess it was, was uh, one of your best scoring performances since maybe Loyola, possibly. Um, t tell me uh, uh, what was uh, uh, what was going well for you today? Um, just I don't know, coming off the screens was um, kind of just my game. I love that, and Jamie set it up for uh, getting it and dishing it off to me, and um, really just. Being aggressive against free throw line was a big thing too this season because they're calling everything. So basically, just playing my game. No, I'm going to put it for Leslie. I think Leslie does so many great things. She's a good shooter, but she does so many great things off the dribble. And I told her, you know, she's got a really good defensive player, you know, in uh, uh, Faulkner on her. And, you know, you just really saw no fear. I thought she really attacked and did a nice job. Faulkner had four fouls. And, you know, I thought Leslie really took advantage of. of being really aggressive, and um, yeah, that's something a lot of freshmen just have to do. Coach, what do you think the turning point in the game was to force, you know, for you guys to make a run to force it into overtime? Well, I, you know, I think we got some stops and um, and went down and, and were able to get some good looks at the basket. Um, we started hitting some free throws, which really helped, and um, you know, just again, I, I think defensively getting a few stops and getting some confidence that, that we could stop and, and get that ball. And you know, we we felt like offensively we had you know a good plan against them. It's just a matter of of getting stops because they were driving in the lane, getting to the free throw line, or they were getting put back. So um, defensively, you probably set the tone. I'm good. All right, guys. Thank you, ladies.